it happened again. Uh, I fixed the strain relief the first time, but right now the uh, black wire here is frayed heavily and the shield wire came loose. Seems like I need a different solution on uh, protecting the, the wires coming through the body from fraying. Just through normal use they, they frayed and that became a problem. So I'm going to do something just a little bit different. And what that is, these uh, two bosses that are inside the, uh, the microphone, they weren't drilled. So I drilled them 3 eighths of an inch deep and I uh, tapped them for a 440 screw. The idea is I'm going to bring the shield uh, up into a lug and mount it directly right here. Uh, for the strain relief and also give myself a very good contact source. Well, while I got it apart, I think I'm going to uh, put a mirror finish on the uh, grill plate here. Have a polisher unit and a drill press, so I think that's what I'll do. I'll show you the results here in a little bit. So the first thing I did was I took some thousand grit sandpaper and basically I knocked off the, the the sandblast finish and after knocking off the sandblast finish I have used red jewelers rouge because um, I'm on a drill press and just starts uh, just started buffing it out so I'm going to continue this until I can actually uh, start seeing myself in it start seeing a mirror finish on that and then I'll use some polishing compound to put the uh, final mirror uh, polish on that. Set down to the lowest setting and go. Apply a little bit of red to it. That's how I prefer to do it. You can see it's sort of uh, in there and then it's just sort of a slow go. Try to grab it from the inside and just uh, start working it around. When you go to check it, you have to wash it off with soap and water because the rouge is on a, sort of a wax. And uh, you can't really see the final, what's going on, it sort of waxes up here. So the best thing to do is take it inside, wash it with uh, some detergent, and then see how much progress you've made. This is a new cable. The red signal wire, the ground. Had to strip the outer coating uh, sleeve away in order for it to actually feed up into the spring st strain relief. And then the other thing I've done is I put another piece of shrink wrap over top of that. Found out that the it's quite hard to get this off again, but it it grips inside there just a little tighter than the original cable. Next thing you do once you get the lug on the ground wire is give this a slight bend so it goes up through the body. Okay, I'm done. The ground wire coming up out of the cable is on the lug. The gray wire which goes to the uh, element is also on a lug and grounded and I put my original strain relief back in again. This thing should be tight and ready to go. I'll show you the final product here in just a moment. And that completes the overhaul of my Sure Green Bullet. Went ahead and painted it metallic blue on the outside and shined it up to uh, chrome finish on the grill. I think it looks kind of neat. And I put a shorter cord on here so I didn't have to uh, mess with the big long thing. And it's a lot more flexible, which I enjoy quite a bit. Thanks for watching.